Hey guys, welcome back to Salem. My name is Zach and I'm here with Igor. And yes, I know it's been a long time since we've done a playthrough together of anything, but we're here in Salem and you guys have been asking for Salem. So say hi, Igor. Hey, what's going on, guys? Now, we've got something really special lined up for you because uh, our Let's Plays have become quite popular, especially with the recent beta key giveaways. And you might already notice some formats here indicating what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a collaborative Let's Plays. And as you can see, something special in the corner here. My map is covered by Igor's point of view, so you can see what he's doing. And as you can see, this is Igor's settlement. Uh, it's quite developed and we're not going to be doing this. We're going to be making new characters on uh, that that really unpopular server. What's it called? It is Jamestown. Yes, Jamestown because everyone is either sticking on the original server or going to Roanoke. So we want to boost the popularity of Jamestown just a little bit. Absolutely. So also, uh, there's the reason why we're doing this now is because there's been some massive updates. So uh, you know more about that. So how about you go ahead and start on that? Yeah, so anyway, if you actually look and you see, uh, there's a lot of new stuff that they added in the game. Like the first notable, noticeable thing that they actually added with the content updates is they added this big old pile of wood here. And what this pile of wood actually is, is it's basically just boards that are stacked up on top of each other and after five days they turn into dry boards which brings me to the saw buck and now when you cut a board on the saw buck you actually don't get a dry board anymore you actually get a fresh board so you actually need to dry these boards to build different things that they've added um, they added a carpenter's bench and the carpenter's bench can use to, to be it'll it can actually plane the dry boards once you dry them They've added the um, the press, and now you can actually press um, seeds from your fields and you know so on and so forth to actually make oils. And then you can actually take the boards and you can oil the boards. So they've actually added quite a bit, and I'm sure that in the future, um, you know, I'll be covering it a little bit more in detail. But yeah, they've definitely been adding a lot. So yeah, so basically, that's pretty much that. There has been a massive update, really. Yeah, it's pretty, it's it's really confusing, it's really big, so, you know, like I said, once I get around to it pretty soon here, I'll actually cover, uh, I'll cover it in detail, but, but the first things first, I gotta wait for these to finish, and hopefully I get some dry boards so that I can build the stuff, and then I'm gonna cover it. Right, okay. So, uh, basically what we're gonna be doing is a collaborative Let's Play, and we're gonna be aiming to build something greater than this settlement right here. And it should be a little bit easier because there's two of us, but uh, it's going to be a while. We're planning to release half-hour episodes every weekend. Now, which day on the weekend really depends. You know, we're busy people. But uh, at least one episode a week, 30 minutes of us playing this game and trying to figure out how to do well in it. So we're not going to be taking over this settlement. We're going to be creating new characters. So how about we go ahead and do that? Yep, we can go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and log out here. Yeah, there's now in the options menu, isn't it? Control O. There is actually a, a switch character or log out button, right? Yep. You yeah. can either switch characters or log out, but I just usually log out and log back in. Okay, so I'll create a new character. New there character for me as well. Now we'll just get uh, this set up. It's not too complicated. We've both covered this before. Yeah, but for new players who might be coming along to watch this, uh, you just basically, yeah, basically choose your gender at the beginning, yeah? It's choosing the gender, follow the, you know, follow the little things that it tells you to do, and, you know, type in a name, do your hairstyle, make yourself look pretty. Yeah, I gotta learn childish things here. Oh, uh, which I can remember, man, back in the, back in the good old days of original Salem. You see tons of people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to how to get past how the guy won't let me choose a name. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that that they still need to fix that really, because uh, there's no like confirm button on picking a name. No, there is not. You have to just hit enter and hope it hasn't been taken. And we we did agree upon Jamestown, correct? Uh, yes. You're, you're way ahead of me. I'm still picking my hairstyle. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
I just want to get that hairstyle I like. It's a short one. Did they change the hairs a bit? I think they did. I think they um I think they made them look a little bit better. Well, I did turn on anti-aliasing, so it is everything seems a bit smoother than it used to be. Right, yeah. Wait, is that um now that was that's right in um Yeah. Yeah, there's extra shadows and actually I didn't have it on, I knew about it, I must have turned it off at some point. Jamestown does look really nice though. This is my uh, I think this is my first time here. Yeah. I went to Roanoke for a minute, but uh but didn't really do anything on there and this is my first time on Jamestown. Yeah, I haven't seen Jamestown either. Okay, I'm gonna create a really evil looking character. <laughs> Excellent. And give myself Always a Always good to be evil. I've used up all my names, I don't know what to call my character. Uh, I ran into the same problem. My Gim character is Igor Vids with a Z. <laughs> I'm putting Gimazak the second. Uh, and yes, this is the problem which new players do tend to encounter. There's no accept button on this. You have to press enter. Come on, developers, put in a confirm button. You can't expect people to right, know that. Yeah, that would be <laughs> amazing if they did that. So many menus don't have like a confirm button. You, you have to press enter. Okay, so Jamestown, right? Yeah, Jamestown it is. Yeah, the original server is Plymouth, correct? I'm not being yep, stupid. Plymouth right? is the original, yeah. Okay. So into Jamestown, here I go, logging in, and that... there we go. Is oh. that you with the with no hat, brown hair? Uh, yes, and the music is really loud. How do I? Um, <laughs> Control O in the options, and then you'll just click the audio tab, and you can actually uh, disable the music if you wish. Okay, but I, I just turned it. But I don't, I don't think it works. But I just turned mine way down. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Music enabled doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm, I'm just. Way to go, it down. Jorb and Loftar. They're like, we're forcing you to listen to it anyway. Yeah, they they mentioned in the developers' stream that um, it they are making it purposefully annoying and expensive. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that it was um it was originally like. I don't know, it was supposed to be originally like, uh, oh man, it was like two silver or something to get him to stop playing, and then all of a sudden they jumped it up, and it was like, oh yeah, now it's now it's really super expensive. Okay, which one are you? Are you this one next to me? Yes, the guy in the hat that's walking around aimlessly in circles. Ah, we have the same facial hair. Do we have the same hairstyle? <laughs> Take off your hat. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if we do. Okay, no, it's not the same. Okay. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Slightly different. Okay, so let's let's uh, let me add you to uh, a buddy. Let's hold on. Memorize, right? Yep, memorize, mankin. And for everybody watching uh, uh, that hasn't done this before, that's super new. That's how you have to do. You actually have to memorize, and then you have to make kin. So uh, it takes yes. actually two steps. Yes, memorizing is just basically looking at someone and saying, "Oh, that that's that guy who sells me fish or something," and you can call him that guy who sells me fish. Yep, you can call him Fish Guy. Yes. So I'm also going to put you onto Green because that these these are basically friend groups, and once you own land, you can give different groups different permissions. Indeed. So, and this music is still really loud. I've turned it like all the way down. Uh. Actually, um, a cool thing I wanted to tell you, a cool thing is uh, if you actually move away from the violin player, it quiets down. Ah, yes, maybe that's why, because we're standing right next to him, so... Let's, 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 let's walk away from the annoying violin player. <laughs> Alright, I'm also going to add you as a party here. Yes, there there we go. go. So now we can see each other on the map. Well, we're yeah. using Ender's client, so I can see everyone on the map, but... <laughs> Uh, it also puts an arrow in the direction you are, so we won't get lost. Exactly. So, let's get started. Uh, we're supposed to walk away from Jamestown. I'm gonna guess west is still the direction to go. Which way is west? Mm, looks like this way. <laughs> uh, down this way, right, okay. If I, I can get around all these conveniently placed rocks and everything around here. 
Try to get out does, away from the town. It does look nice though, and there's a convenient forest right next to Jamestown. Ex oh man, exactly. I was thinking that in my mind. Oh hey, there's a deer, let's go kill the deer. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yes, you know, for any new players out there, if you want to kill anything, don't bother for quite some time, because even crickets will uh, pretty much own you. Yep. I mean, I can kill... I, I, hopefully in... Um, in this in at least maybe the first I doubt this first episode but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it in the second episode um, or maybe the third but you'll see me I'm my goal is to I want to kill a rabbit with five biles to I want to highlight this and this is how you kill a rabbit with five biles right because there there is a way to do it I uh, promise you there's actually a way I was killing crickets at five biles as well it's just really difficult yeah, you gotta like, you know, position yourself really well. Okay, so we're just looking for inspirationals out here. I've got a bit of grass, but what you really need we're to find is not gonna find anything. <laughs> yeah, we need to find like a smooth stone or something like that. Uh, there, there are new craftable things that you can make, right? Inspirationals and the toys. I think so. The new stuff. Yeah, you can get rock maracas and grass whistle, which... Yeah, should... that hasn't changed. Uh, what do we need for... I need milkweed roots for that. So as you can see, we're using the ender client here. We can actually see things on the map and pick them right up. Which is not part of the vanilla client, so don't be too confused about that. But if I you'd... suggest if you are a new player, get the enders client. It will help you Im immensely. Yes, yeah, so you can get the Ender's Client off of the forums. Indeed. Well, it looks like we have to go a little ways north, because now we can't swim. Yes, that's deep water. You can't swim across it. And even when you get swimming, you still pretty much can't swim across it. <laughs> yeah, believe me, you got that right. I tried to test that theory out, and it didn't work so well. Yeah, Salem used to take the biblical approach and have Jesus walking over the water. Uh, where you could just walk across any amount of water with no issues, but just recently they implemented um, uh, swimming. Where, swimming, where it drains your uh, it, it drains your your phlegm, is it? Yes, yeah, it drains your phlegm. There's actually a smooth stone over here if you want to come grab it. Oh, nice. Well, you can take that one. Okay, a few cuts here because Fraps is misbehaving, but how are you doing, Igor? I am doing well. Um, I'll give you this. I'll drop this for you here. There's a smooth stone for you. I actually have been gathering uh, hay for us, so when we do choose to settle somewhere, um, we will have hay to make a couple of lean-tos. Alright, good. I'll get survival skills bit. soon. So we got to keep heading west, right? Indeed. Which is this way? Yeah, That way. So, this world is just as big as the other servers, right? I believe so, I'm pretty sure. Now, although I am a little nervous, we might have to, uh... We might have to port back for a little- for a second, because, uh, my... My thing still says, walk or fast travel back to Jamestown. Ah, right. After I've learned it. Now, however, I think that might go... I don't know if it's gonna go away. I don't think it will. I think we'll have to go back for a second and then go well, back to get rid of it. It'll eventually go away once we build a lean-to and port back to Boston. Oh, uh, Boston, Jamestown. Yeah, we're still calling it Boston. I actually did that a few times. <laughs> well, it's been Boston for so long. Yeah, and actually what's really funny is if you actually look in your adventure menu and then travel, it still says to Boston. It does, does it? Adventure, yeah. travel, to Boston, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so how can you expect me to not to keep calling it Boston? Alright, so we're running into some water here. Looks like we might have to cut north a bit. Yeah, there's a shallow bit there. I'm just picking yeah. up the, these, uh, the autumn grass, because we do use those in lean-tos, don't we? Yes, I think it's two hay and four wooden plugs. But we have to get... Um, we have to get hiking first, so we will uh, need. Yeah, we'll need uh, colonial tradesmanship, I believe. Yes, yeah, so I'll just buy survival skills here. 
Of course, unless you're unless you're like Zach and can't remember what skill you need to get a lean to. <laughs> oh, cough, cough. Hey, hey, come on. I mean, why would you need hiking to build a lean to? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> nope, nope. You're absolutely right. It makes absolutely no sense. So, yep, this is uh this is the beginning to our wonderful adventure in the world of Salem. Yes, it's not the most action-packed game, but it is a very stressful game. So uh... I was going to say action-packed. It's it's really quite action-packed, really, if your <laughs> sort of action is constantly sitting on the edge of your seat and not wanting to ever leave your character AFK. Yes, because people will kill you. And, uh, spoiler, uh, this is a permadeath game, so you lose your character for good. Yeah, that's definitely, um, definitely something to be concerned about. However, um, I have heard recently that, um, if on a funny note for us to go off of, um, somebody has been doing the, we must be coming to the edge of Boston. This must be the edge. Yep. Or yeah. Boston. Oh. See, I'm doing it too. It actually does say leaving yep. Jamestown. Okay, good. Yep. Somebody has built a little settlement here. Um, but actually, uh oh, got trouble. Yes, uh, on you can see on we'll the end clients, uh, you can see red squares are other players, and generally you want to stay away from them, especially once you're outside of uh, the home city area. Because inside the home city, you're safe, no one can kill you. Uh, wild animals can still kill you, but people can't, which is good. But once you leave the home city, in this case it's Jamestown, uh, you're fair game, basically. Yep, you are on your own. Yeah, we got a paved area over here that somebody's... See, why... Somebody somebody just knocked out. Somebody just popped up on their claim <laughs> right there. Right. He's over there knocked out. <laughs> somebody went up against the cricket before he was ready. Oh, yeah, there he is. I can just about see him. So, yes, he, he either passed out from... Can you pass out from studying too much? Yeah, I don't think so, because I've literally got mine down to, like, point one. I think it just slows so much that it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So, but yes, that guy was passed out. He's not dead. You don't die straight away when you get to something like that. You get knocked out. You KO. And at that point, uh, another player can come along and kill you if they want to. Yes. So, so if you get into a fight with a cricket or something, the cricket can't kill you permanently. Nope, but... uh. Nothing actually can, no animal can kill you yet. They haven't implemented anything. I think when they implement the new creatures for the darkness, they'll be able to kill you. But no creature, as far as bears, deers, crickets, rabbits, uh, they can't kill you. They can only KO you. Yes, so that's that's at least good. So, uh, Right, so... <laughs> if you're new to the game, then don't worry about dying to a cricket. You, know, you can give it a shot. But if you KO, you will lose some skills. Uh, I think you'll, you'll drop a few points in some of these proficiencies. Yeah, that's what happens. But overall, not a bit, not a, not very, diff, not too bad. I mean, give it a shot. Definitely, don't be afraid to fight stuff. But yeah, and yeah, if you're making your first character, just expect to die. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that was me um, looking in people's stuff, because just like the uh, grand old theme of uh, the grand old theme in Salem is, uh, if it's not claimed, it's fair game. So. Yes, so as you can see, that's just stuff and baskets lying about. Uh, you could just take the baskets. You know, it, it's basically not owned by anyone unless it's on claimed land. Well, I do see a smooth stone down here. I'm going to go pick this up. Because oh, yes, I do is. need... How are you doing in your um, proficiencies, uh, skill-wise? I, I have survival skills. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a good start. We're on, we're on the right path. Uh, you're probably way ahead of me. Um, no, actually, I only have survival skills as well. I just got foraging. That's what I had. Um, actually, you know what? Here, take this smooth stone because I think the smooth stone will get you foraging. Because I have two rock maracas that I can make. So I'll make those and see what I get. I actually might give you one. So I want to try and keep us both pretty equal so one doesn't get too far ahead of the other. Uh, it's no it's fun if, if I fly ahead of you and you're logging on and I'm way ahead of everything so I'll try and keep us both <laughs> I know you've been kind of uh, you're a little rusty so yes you play way more than I do 
yeah, I, I, it's basically my main game for the most part. I mean, I play other things here and there, but for the most part, it's my main game. Let's see, I should get foraging pretty soon. I... It's confusing that black bile is a green bar. I, you know, I've heard, quote unquote, I've heard that it's a bug, but eh, I'm not really sure about that. I think that it's actually just, they're doing it to mess with us. Yes, I mean, uh, blood is black. <laughs> um, phlegm is red. Right. Yellow bile is actually yellow, I think. Well, actually, I think um, what I've noticed, uh, the actual phlegm is black, blood is red, yellow is yellow, and green is uh, black bile. Because, like, right now I only have 3.6 uh, 3.6 in the black bar. Ah, right, okay. So, yes, the developers and... are... <laughs> this is no, not you know in they're order. They're, they're in their offices saying, you know what, let's make it as weird as possible. Who cares? Igor and Zach will, will fix it. They'll explain it. <laughs> oh, and did you know they stole my, my soundtrack to Salem? What? Yeah, well, it's not my music. It's Kevin McLeod's music, but um, right. Uh, they did the the their recent podcast live streaming session, and um, they the the background music they use is not only the Kevin McLeod songs which I picked out for this game, uh, which you're probably listening to right now as I'll put it onto this video, but it's actually in the exact same order as my unofficial soundtrack video. Really? So it's our both of ours that we collaborated to make together? Yes, because I got a comment on the video saying that, hey, did you know the developers are using the songs you picked? I was like, really? So I watched it, and it is. It's the exact same songs that I picked from Kevin is it, um, Is it actually on YouTube or something? Um, I think it's on the... I think it's a Twitch TV account or something like that. You can find the I link will... on, the, on the old forums, I think. There's a link someone posted to the live streaming session. It's basically them showing off the new multi-server and updates and stuff like that. Well, I'm gonna have to, uh, I might have to have a talk with Totally Moo then. Be like, hey, <laughs> hey. Well, you should ask him. I mean, it's not our music. They can use it as well. But... No, yeah. It's just, it's funny though. I mean, it's kind of, kind of flattering, but... Yeah, that, that they like our taste in Salem music. Yeah, well, at least we pick good music, apparently. 